welcome to your fifth job for tutorial. Um, as you can see, I pretty much just got to the fourth tutorial, just placed it in a new package in new class, transitions to five. So as you can see, in a previous tutorial, what we did was we created two two-dimensional objects that are spinning or rotating. Um, so nothing too fancy. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to make them three-dimensional. So first thing I'm going to have you do is go to the init method. Um, in the init method, we're actually going to be adding stuff now. So the first thing we're going to add is final g two l g l equals g l or no, this is equal to drawable drawable dot git gl dot git. As always, this should be the first line in your method. Um, so now that we have the drawable. Um, just do gl dot gl shader model this should be the first one and then we're going to do gl2 dot gl underscore smooth whoa whoa there we go second one is going to be gl dot gl clear color this is the background color the first one was, sorry, I should have explained. The first one was to enable smooth shading. Um, this one is the background color. I'm just saying it for the screen. Um, it receives floats, I believe, or actually, actually, this one might actually receive double. Nope, it received floats on the screen. There we go. That's why we have drop top top, by the way. Always good to find out where the next parameter is. Okay, so we're going to do GL clear. Depth is going to be 1.0. Actually, I'm just going to do that just for safety. GL. GL. Enable. GL2. GL. Depth. Dot GL. Underscore. Depth. Test. There we go. So what this is doing, um, we're adding depth. We're going to do this once we do the 3D object. If we don't, um, we'll make the cube, but some parts of it will be transparent, some won't be rendered correctly. It won't look like a 3D object. It'll look like uh, Swiss cheese or just what you think. Those is the analogy. Or, well, no, no. That's not really a good analogy. I'll think of an analogy later. Okay, this is going to be L equal for this parameter. Okay, so we got depth function. Um, L equal GL dot GL hint and now we're going to do GL2 dot GL underscore perspective okay production hint and then it's going to be GL2 dot GL underscore axis it's a nice spell word So, in a nutshell, what this is doing is it's smooth lines, setting the background color, the setting depth functionality, um, enabling the depth functionality test, and then uh, this, this is the type of depth testing that we're doing in this one, and this one we are really nice perspective calculations. So this makes it look pretty. So now if you re-render draw it, it, you won't notice a difference. Now, for the sake of time, um, again, you can go to Nihi Tutorials. Actually, this should be Tutorial 5. My apologies, I should have this ready. So, he has all the vectors already done. So, I'm thinking it's the easiest thing to do is just copy all of this and then do that control F thing where you find it and replace all the GLs with GL.GL. That would be the easiest way of doing it. So, for the sake of time, I already did it done. Um, all it is is a bunch of vectors. I'm assuming you all have taken geometry, so you should know how vectors line up and make pretty little pictures. So, essentially, I will just copy this code and explain what you need to see. So here's all the code. Um, it's on the it's on his website. I'll link to it. Um, all I did was I just replaced it with, it was this part and I just added this. 
takes like three seconds to do. And yeah, you can see it. Anyway, so now I'm gonna withdraw it and everything should be good to go. Again, this tutorial is for a quick one just to show you um, the important functions in, in it. Otherwise, this tutorial was just, this previous tutorial was just copying from the website just to replace it. Now, um, vectors, I guess I should do a little brief thing. Um, as you can see, each of these forms is a face, and um, the face, each face is a different color. So if you, here, I'll show you back there, I can show you. As you can see, each face has a corresponding set of points. In the triangle, it's going to be three points, and they have like random colors. So as you can see, three points for triangle, four points for quad, and then you can do some other things with like other lines and stuff like that. So as you can see, um, I have Boom Boom running, she's like an orphan somewhere. Uh, so let me check my processes. Again, always check to make sure you don't have any random processes running. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of random processes running. That is because I'm running two versions of Rails. So you probably know this one more than I am. Consider it. Okay. So in our next tutorial, it's going to be something a little bit more interesting. It's going to be more code since it's going to be the longer one. We're going to be doing um, texturing. Yes, texture mapping. Um, this tutorial online actually isn't oh, that big of a help to us, so I've pretty much had to redo it. So there's going to be a lot of new code, a lot of me doing my own code, um, actually a lot of my own code, because we don't have some of these parameters in Java. So that being said, um, I would recommend before you watch the next tutorial, you understand how files work. Um, in input and outputting in Java, because we're going to be using a lot of those methods, and I'm expecting you to know what you're 